What's up guys, it's Rack, Director of Operations here at Kicks on Fire and today I've got a look at the highly anticipated 72 and 10 Air Jordan 11 courtesy of our friends at Lapstone and Hammer. We're also doing a giveaway right now in which you can enter for a chance to win the 72 and 10, the Aqua 8, and the Maroon 6. We're going to have three winners and all three winners will get all three shoes. So if you're interested at all in that, make sure you check out our Instagram at Kicks on Fire and you'll see all of the instructions for entering there. Let's go ahead and get into the shoes. Starting with the box, nothing unusual here for anyone who's had a previous Jordan 11 holiday release. It is your standard Jordan 11 slide out box, this time black with red accents. The official colorway being black, gym red, white, and anthracite, and the retail price at $220. Opening up the box, we see the standard transparent plastic with the Jordan 11 logo, and underneath that, the carbon fiber printed paper. But we're here for the shoes, so let's go ahead and take a look at the sneaker. I know a lot of you will be going for these on Saturday, especially now that they have been moved up a week from their original release date. One of the most standout features of the sneaker is that the Kodora mesh that's normally found on the upper of Air Jordan 11s has been replaced with a nice premium and soft tumbled black leather. The Air Jordan Jumpman logo has been changed up too. Instead of its normal embossing, it is a hard plastic with a metallic red finish. We have 23 on the back heel on both shoes, despite early rumors that they might read 72 and 10 on the right and left sneaker respectively. The carbon fiber hit at the midfoot is checkered black and red against a white midsole and a milky white outsole with black traction pads. The Air Jordan branding found on the tongue is in its usual third lace spot, this time largely blacked out with some dark gray lettering and a red jump man. The usual patch behind the Air Jordan 11 tongue has been replaced and now reads, inspired by the most historic season led by the greatest player ever. Of course, in reference to the Bulls 96, 72, and 10 record setting season. Now to the only point of contention I've seen from anyone who's disliked this sneaker and that's the glitter touch on the patent leather. This patent leather has like a tumbled leather effect that's underneath the smooth and shiny patent finish and in there is some iridescent glitter hits as well. Now in photos it's really stand out and really bright sunlight in my glimmer a bit but honestly in hand it's pretty subtle. I personally don't find it off-putting at all and if I had to pick one thing that I didn't like about the sneaker it definitely wouldn't be the patent leather it would be the price. I mean a $220 box price is crazy. I remember picking up Jordan 11's at resale for 220 bucks. So to see them at retail for 220 bucks, it still kind of irks me. Still, in my opinion, these are an absolute must cop. Let me know in the comments below if you plan on picking them up. I'll put a card up here as well that'll lead you to all of our 72 and 10 coverage. Every video, every photo, every article, and all of the release information, just click that card and you'll be able to find all of that on the site. If you do pick up a 72 and 10, make sure that you get a picture to us on Instagram or Twitter at Kicks on Fire. Make sure you also check out our Instagram to get in on that giveaway when these, the Maroons, and the Aqua 8s, all courtesy of our friends at Lapstone and Hammer. So make sure you check that out. And without further ado, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat, at TV Shift. I think I've kept you guys long enough. Thanks for checking out the video. Give me a thumbs up on the way out and hit subscribe if it's your first time.